Welcome to the Dirt Shed Show with me, Martin Ashton, and this week we are joined by... Hello, I'm Neil Donoghue. Of course you are, Neil. <laughs> Mate, how are you? I haven't seen you in the shed for weeks. Uh, yeah, good thanks, Mark. I was out yesterday riding, uh, filming with Blake. It's very cold and very muddy at the moment, uh, but still nice to be riding bikes and actually nice to be in the warm shed for once for you, Mark. Yeah, yeah, no, it's very cool. I'm sort of here. Sort of here. Um, right, we have got a great show lined up. We're going to be talking Ridgeline with G. Atherton, and yeah. we're going to be talking about the new EWS 2021 oh. dates. Yes, come on. Plus, we've got a Hacks and Bodges body bin mashup. Oh. <laughs> and it's literally a mashup. Oh and of course, all the awesome stuff Bike Vault and all the caption contests and everything. But first, Neil, let's go to the news. Thank you very much, guys. Yes, it's time for the news. And kicking things off this week uh, is maybe a warm-up for the body bin. Sadly, Brett Reader has taken a tumble at his local skate park uh, and has broken his femur. Ouch. Uh, but fear not, there is a positive spin on his social media. He's already had some surgery, uh, so the road to recovery is underway, albeit with a little bit more metal work in there. But uh, yeah, get well soon, Brett. Hope you heal up quickly and get back to sending those big gnarly tricks soon. Next up, the rumour can finally be confirmed, Loris Vergier is leaving the Santa Cruz Syndicate. After four years with the team uh, and many ups and a few downs, no doubt, along the way, an emotional post went out uh, confirming his departure there. But, you know, on to bigger and better things. What? We don't know. Maybe you could let us know down in the comments. But. Uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled on that one. Uh, the Syndicate put out a big old recap video the other day and it is pretty blooming amazing. But I'm sure that's not going to be the last of sort of the, the team rumour news, not just for Vergia, but for everyone out there. So keep your eyes peeled for more uh, team signings and team releases. Who knows what's going to happen. Bit of cross-country racing news now and Matteo van der Poel has decided he's going to be racing the uh, Tour de France this year, or hopefully finishing it, and then just nine days later heading out to Tokyo, Japan for the Olympic Games cross-country. Now that gives him just nine days in between to fly out there, recover, rest, get sort of back ready up to race pace and uh, go for one of the biggest titles in mountain biking. He is a hell of an athlete though, so if anyone can do it, no doubt he can. Good luck to him at both obviously road riding and mountain bike. He will also be taking part in a few World Cup cross countries beforehand as well. But anyway, enough. On to our final piece of news. And the Global Bike Festival is back. Ah, yes. Calm your excitement. I'm pretty stoked for it. It's good to see it back on the calendar. Taking place on the 17th to the 20th of June 2021, so next year, tickets will go on sale Friday the 18th, so be sure to head over to globalbikefestival.com and you can go and get your tickets there before anyone else. Go get them, quick, go, go, go. It has been a really difficult year for events the world over and this year should have been our very first Global Bike Festival, which unfortunately we did have to put on hold. But don't worry, it is back, like I said, next year where you can very soon book up your tickets. Uh, so everyone who did book tickets last year, hopefully we'll see you again uh, next year. Thank you for hanging in there with us and for everyone's patience. It's been uh, really great, greatly received and we're really looking forward to putting on sort of this groundbreaking festival everywhere. Uh, in Salbach, in Austria, of course, where you'll be able to join myself and all the other presenters uh, for riding trails, discussions, and all sorts of bits and pieces going on. We really, really can't wait for this event to happen. So don't forget, 17th to the 20th of June next year, get it in your diary. Tickets go on sale Friday the 18th. Head on over to Global Bike Festival and can't wait to see you. Right, let's talk about this amazing video, Ridgeline, yes. from G. Atherton absolutely stunning um neil what were your first impressions of that film uh i think the first thing i saw of this is probably that crash and you just see yeah. him case a massive jump and you see how exposed <laughs> it is if you go off the one side um yeah yeah i'm lucky enough to know those guys pretty well i know that if dan Aston thinks something is crazy then you know it definitely is i've ridden yeah. some of dan Aston's construction some of his old school wild daniel tracks that were the gnarliest things i've ever ridden and g yeah. is probably the gnarliest guy i know so to see those two yeah. combos come together again uh it look, looked amazing yeah i mean um i loved it i totally agree dan is one of the toughest dudes ever yeah. to ride mountain bikes um but i've got a complaint <laughs> i want to complain go on okay right because i expect massive things from gf and he, he is maybe is the gnarliest i mean he is well, he's a world cup racer but he is loose too yes he will go for, <laughs> he will go for stuff right yeah 
I hear they'll go for stuff that people, most people just wouldn't go near, right? Yeah. But I like, I, lo- I love this film. I love what they're doing, but I'd like, I'd have liked a more stripped down version, a, raw, a more raw version. Yeah. I- That's just the line itself. Show me the crashes and stuff afterwards, but just show me it in one at the start. Let it speak for itself. Wow. Well, what do you think? Do you want me to ask the man and see if he can provide us with those goods? <laughs> oh no, I'm about to upset the Athens. <laughs> go on, ask him. Right. Right, got Jathan, the man himself. You've been throwing yourself down some mountains for a few years now. Uh, that looked like one of the bigger set of jumps you've ever hit. It was, yeah. And, you know, when we built it, it wasn't really, that wasn't the plan, you know. Like, it started off as a bit of a, we'll go up this ridge, like, there's a few natural gaps we can build, like, quite a kind of, it was started off quite chilled. <laughs> and then things just escalated, you know, the yeah. more dig crew came involved and, you know, Athy got involved and yeah. as we started going further down the ridge, it was just escalating and, you know, it got to the point where we we thought, right, we need to actually test some of these because I don't know if I can jump these. I'm guessing you're the only person that hit them. Yeah. And, <clears throat> you know, the other lads that were helping dig it and Athy and those boys, they were they were kind of keen and they were kind of like, yeah, it looks sort of fun. And then I had a massive crash on it and that, that literally just put everyone off. Yeah, I was going to say that, you know, these jumps, obviously when they get to a certain size and you've not ridden them, you know, someone's got to try it and you've got to have a really good judgment of how fast and how hard to pull or whatever. And you can go just a foot wrong, a foot too short and big crash, but you survived? Yeah, I was fine. And, you know, like you say, it's it's testing them that's the problem. You know, normally with stuff like this, once you've dialed it in and you've got the speed and you've kind of, you've, you've learned what to do on it, it's, it's pretty much okay. But with this line, the hard thing was linking them together. You know, you would, you would guinea pig one and say, right, I've, I've kind of gauged that speed, that feels okay. But to come in with the three jumps before and then one straight after, yeah. you know, some of them were quite close together. Yeah. You know, sometimes you'd be landing and because the speed was so much more than I expected, you know, the next one was on you within a split oh, second. Oh, yeah. And you've got you to decide whether you're doing that a couple yeah, of jumps back. Yeah, you would have to commit to it, you know, a jump or two before because you wouldn't yeah. have the time to process, you know, is this okay, can I adjust? You know, you would land and bounce off the next one before you'd had time to blink, really. Uh, and I've seen you misjudge jumps before, shall I say. <laughs> <laughs> Going back a few years, we've got the snow crash here that I filmed on my Sony Ericsson phone, I think, back in the day. Um, but yeah, you've taken some big hits over there, but you're still pushing it. How does it feel to just, you know, do you still feel motivated to jump on the bike and do gnarly stuff? Yeah, I am. And, you know, I think that's really what I enjoy. You know, yeah. I, I sometimes think, oh, you know, with the racing, you need, I need to dial that back a bit. I need to avoid that stuff, you know, injuries, blah, blah, blah. But I miss it, to be honest, you know. Yeah. I was, when I started this line, you know, I was surprised how stoked I was on it, you know. I was so excited, you know, I'd be waking up in the morning at like 4.30 to get up there for sunrise and, you know, I was buzzing on it. I was excited by it, so, you nice. know, I, I do enjoy that stuff. That's pretty cool. I'll tell you what, Martin uh, Ashton, he loved it. He's a bit disappointed he didn't have a roar. He wants to see a roar of the whole line. Yeah, well, there's uh, there's still a bit of footage we've not put out there and there's right. still some stuff we've kind of, we're, we're playing with. You know, the nature of the, the line, it meant it was hard to film because you know, you wouldn't find out the night until the night before whether the weather was going to be okay. Yeah. So, you know, I'd be phoning around the lads like, "Who's free to come and film?" So, it was a, it was a bit of a, it was a tricky thing to film. So, we're still kind of getting the footage together and, and playing with it a bit. I bet. Nice one, G. Cool. Thanks, man. From the horse's mouth himself. <laughs> that is amazing, G. Affen. Hey, you know all the stars, Neil. Oh yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, actually, of course, we all know G he comes to the Christmas party every year. <laughs> um, yes, uh, not this year though, because we could never have a proper no. Christmas party. Oh. Oh, so annoying, yeah. so annoying. But we have got something special lined up, so look out for that. Yeah. Okay, Neil, this is going to be cool. You're going to enjoy this. Is it? Uh, we're about to do hacks and bodges, <laughs> stroke body bin mashup. I don't know how this is quite going to go together. Well, but... well, basically, right, I had a look in the body bin this week, okay? It's carnage. <laughs> Absolute carnage. Yeah. But what I did is I've, I've sifted through all the muck and mess, <laughs> and I found some, some hacks and bodges, some things that people out there have broken, but then have had fixed. Oh. <laughs> so, so let's jump in. Um, but actually, before we do, let me just give you the body bin warning, okay? Yes. It isn't gory this week, but it is... It's the body bin. It's 
body parts. It's, it's harsh. Yeah, it's going to be not not particularly great viewing if you are suffering from an injury yeah. yourself at the moment. Yes. So if you would like to skip on to uh, the caption contest or further into the show, please do. Don't feel bad about missing the body bin if you don't <laughs> fancy it this week. Um, but here we go. We're in. Neil, first up. Oh, man. Oh, what's he done? We are, Stefan. Oh, uh, Stefan. Let me tell you the story. Crashed a month ago on my way to work, broke oh. my leg, had surgery, and I'm now officially a cyborg. Titanium. With bits. titanium upgrades. Oh, that's all right. That. That's all right, man. Um, he misses reading his TT bike. You shouldn't. Um, I'm attached <laughs> to a family photo of my mum and myself with the same scars. Oh, oh look at that. Um, man, that is quite the scar. Yeah, Ooh. to fall off riding your bike to work. That's bad news. Yeah. Well, at least didn't go to yeah. work. Yeah. But let's let's this this is hacks and bodges. Um, yeah. Let's take a look at the work that's been done. Very nice, very straight screws. I had some. See those staples in yeah. the knee. I had fifty three yeah. of those in my thigh, and then I oh. went to the doctors about how long down for? Probably a few weeks. They actually weren't as painful as you'd think to be in there. But taking yeah. them out, they get this weird set of pliers that sort of bend yeah. bend it in the middle, and they pop out. Mm. That wasn't that nice. Yeah, no, that's not that nice. But they do come out quickly, though. That's a good thing yeah. about it. Not like with stitches, I have to tease them out. Um, yeah, good work, Stefan. I like it. It's a nice. Well, should we say that's a hack or a <laughs> That's a hack. He's got that. He's got that bad boy fixed up, good and proper, right there. Oh man. Um, good oh, hack. Right next up. Oh man. Oh, Jesus. Broken ankle. Now this is <laughs> one. Well, both of us can uh, sympathise with this. That looks like the same injury oh. I did on that yeah. inside of your ankle, which isn't the good one, because that's the weight-bearing bone. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've always uh, done it on the outside, actually, my yeah. ankle, so I've not I've not experienced this one. This is from Gregor. Yeah. Um, he said the end of September 2018. Um, what, what has happened? Uh, he went onto the Trail S1 oh. in Ishko a bit faster than the others. I just read it. Put his foot down a, a cow foothole and the bike slipped oh. away. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it weird how this stuff's funny, cringingly funny? Um, um, my, I remember breaking my ankle, and I had quite a few other injuries at the time, should I say? So I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't quite compass mentis. And they were listing off my injuries, the, actually, the the ambulance guy, and he said, "Oh, and you've broken your ankle, last one at the bottom." And I said, "Are you sure? Are you sure it's broken?" And he pulled the the blanket back, and I went, "Oh yeah, that's broken. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely <Well>. broken." <laughs> Oh man. Um, okay, let's focus on the um, hardware in this one, Neil. It's hacks and bodges, <laughs> remember? Okay, so what do we think of the work done there? I mean, I, I think this is not a big bone. Um, oh, and yeah. I think that the plate work down the side looks very good. That screw's massive. Um, yeah, and the screw work looks impeccable. Oh, yeah. um, probably not easy to do. Uh, a great bit of work from the surgeon there. Not sure what I think about the wiggly scar, though. <laughs> bit of a bo bit of a bodge on the scar. What do we think? A bit of a bodge on the scar, but they'll disappear <laughs> quite nicely. Ah, give it, give it yeah. five years. <laughs> it's a hack and a bodge. Uh, it's a hack and a bodge. Um, well done, Gregor. Glad to see you've got it fixed up. Next oh up, my we have life. got we have got Lisa's titanium foot. Oh, there's a lot of stuff is... going on there. Uh, feet and oh. hands. There's lots of little bones, and obviously they all need yeah. joining up in this one. Oh, that's bad. Now I want. I almost can't make much sense of the x-rays. Yeah. There's screws in every direction. It is nasty. Um, let's see what Lisa had to say. So, two years ago, um, new, uh, new, new in the adventures of mountain biking, um, but then had a misadventure. I was going into a curve just a little too fast, put my foot down to steady myself. Unfortunately, my foot grabbed the sand and down I went, folding my foot underneath oh. me. Oh, God. So that's the foot itself ripping round. Yeah. Um, long story short, I've fractured all five of my metatarsal bones right on the joint after three hours of surgery, six weeks in a cast and another six weeks in a boot. Yeah. It's all fused back together. Wow. Nice. Fixed. Whew. Somewhat. Fixed. Um, I broke those metatarsals mm. up near the toes when mm. we were doing the uh, Danny Mac random tandem. Oh, uh, me yeah. And yeah, me and Blake were practicing the trail and we were heading down the trail mm. and for some reason the bike came to a, a really emergency stop with, and I hadn't touched the brakes. And we were like, what's going on? Oh. Uh, and then Blake looked round and said, oh my, it's your foot, it's caught in the Yeah, I that. that's not great either. Oh, 
No, no, it got pulled in and stopped to oh. make the bike do an endo. Anyway, at least the bike's nice and light. What we, what do we think? What do we think on uh, Lisa's hack or bodge foot? I think it looks like a hack, but, uh, hack, but it's going to feel like a bodge. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks like a bodge, but probably is a hack. So we're we're on the fence on that one. I don't know. Oh, um, well, there we go. The body bin hack and bodge special. Um, if you've got an actual hack or a bodge that you've done with your bike or your bike case, hey, don't don't be don't be scared. Please send that in, and we'll be back to normal next week yeah. for some hacks and bodges. The GMBN uploader is there for your use, and of course, in the GM, GMBN uploader, you will find the body bin, yeah, um, where you can send us all your broken body parts, and we may show them on this show. And I'm sure in dates to come, we will probably do a full body bin show that's full on X rated. Brave people. When you say it. send the body parts in, you mean photos of? The photos, please. Yeah, okay. The photos. <laughs> <laughs> This week's captions for that picture of Rich uh, looking cold and <laughs> slightly surprised. Yeah. Uh, first one from Vojtek Cerny saying, uh, no problem, I can handle watching the body bin. My face after watching the body bin. <laughs> yeah, that's about right, isn't it? That yeah. is about right. It's stunning, some of the stuff in there. Um, and I've got to be honest, Neil, right? I really am holding back on the body bin. <laughs> oh, There's God. worse stuff in there. Well, I don't want Honestly. to Yeah. Um, next up, we've got Phil IPP, and he says, "Okay, taking the saddle off my XE bike to save weight was a bad idea." Noted. Oh, yes, dear. that is. Um, <laughs> yeah, there was going to be one of those, wasn't there? Um, there was going to be one of Joshua those. Joshua Herbert, when you see a kid rock up on the new carbon push bike, balance bike. Have you seen that specialised balance bike? Yeah, thousand dollars. Um, what do you think of that, Neil? Um, what do you think? I absolutely am quite upset about it. Don't get me started, Mark. What? Oh, come on, come on, please tell. What, what, why are you upset? I mean, in Japan, they're racing this stuff serious. Uh, yeah, I suppose, but I've got the alloy version of that very bike that I bought second hand for 40 quid, and it was knackered, you know, scratched to bits when I got it. It's way worse yeah. now. And I yeah. don't want my son to have a thousand pound bike that he, it's too precious. That's not the point of kids riding bikes. Yeah. And it, don't get me started, Mark, don't get me started. Yeah, no, I, I think I might agree with you, Neil. I don't think I'm, but I don't know. Yeah, oh God, yeah, yeah, you're right. Let's not start on that one. <laughs> um, okay, we've got to pick a winner for this week's captions. Um, we're giving away a GMBN mug for this, um, which isn't bad just for a comment at the bottom of a video. Um, what are you going with, Neil? I, uh, I liked all of them. I mean, I'm gonna think I'm gonna go with Joshua Herbert, the last one, because he got us, you know, Got me fired up. It got up. us chatting, didn't it? Got us chatting. Got me fired up. Yeah, okay, Josh, you're a winner. You're getting a GMBM mug. mug. Nice job. Look out. Um, right, let's um, head on into on the channel this week. We've got some cool videos coming up this week. Uh, some really cool stuff. Any favourites for you, Neil? Uh, yes, actually, coming this weekend, Dark Knights. Oh, uh, yes. Very cool. Me and Blake went off to Rev's Bike Park. Uh, one of the most, I would say no notorious, but it's got a massive set of jumps called the Vision Line. And the idea yeah. was we were going to rock up there with our exposure lights and ride that uh, set of jumps at night time, in the middle of the night. Did it work? Whoa. Did it happen? Did it almost not happen because we were too scared or I was too scared to do it? Uh, just wait until Saturday and you'll see. Yeah, well, we can do even better than that. Let's just tease them with a little trailer here and all the other stuff you can see this week. Traveling fast, and as he takes off, you can see he just loses the pedals. Man, I bet there's a little bit of gravel rash with that one. That's a fast start for us. What about uh, tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow, dude. Dude, it's forecast to rain, man. Oh, it's it's actually raining right now. Actually, it's been raining all day. <laughs> Now, 
Now, when you do buy a set of pedals, a lot of the time they will come with actual different pins, so you can choose which you want to run. If that isn't the case, well then, there are aftermarket kits available for a lot of pedals as well, so you can kind of pick and choose and really customise that pedal to get it perfect for your shoe. Right, it's the bike vault. Yes. Dun, 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 let's get dun, in. The bike vault. Right, let's get in. Thomas up first with his oh, specialised chisel 2021. That is gorgeous. That is a beaut. I, I don't know what a chisel Ooh. is, specialised chisel. Uh, but it looks that nice. It's aluminium so hardtail nice. with a goal of getting sub 10k. XT, XTR, oh, Fox word. Factory 32. Ooh. Oh, that's, that is banging. That is really nice. This is super nice, Neil. Yeah, it's got a <laughs> gold a chain. Nice it's got a Shimano, but it's got a gold chain. I didn't know you could do that. But very nice. Very, very nice. Next up, we have got... Wow, look at this. Tommy's Merino Custom. Oh, Whoa, it's a mullet. 27.5 and 29. That it's I've around the wrong way, isn't it? Never seen one of those before. It must be a uh, steel sort of hand-built bike. Got to be. But wait, Neil, the 29's on the back. No, surely not. Yeah, that's what that looks like to me. No, I think that's just perspective. Do you think? Yeah. I actually okay. think that's a 27.5 plus or 29 trail bike frame. Because that looks like right. a plus okay. to me. It's a very interesting bike, isn't yeah. it? Merino Custom. I like it a lot. I, I quite like the the uh, utility look of it. All yeah. All the tubes. In the woods cool. in Finland. Yeah, super nice, man. Ooh, super nice. It's very cool. I like it a lot. Uh, next up, we have got Mike's Kona. Kona Hey Hey Trail. Oh, I remember the Kona Hey Hey from back yeah. in the day. It was their like titanium bike, wasn't it? Mm. I think beautiful. Um, it's um, Dominican. That's not Republic. titanium, Neil. No, that's not I don't titanium. think that is, but it used to be no. a yeah, Thai bike. Yeah, I see. I see. Um, this is in uh, the Dominican Republic. Yeah. yeah, finally able to go out riding again after a few rainstorms. That's, that's a really nice bike and a nice photo. It is, isn't it? It, it makes it. me very jealous. I'm sure it's very yeah. nice and warm. Can't can't fault it. Yeah, nice. Ring. Nice. Oh, sorry. Come on. <laughs> Super nice. Come on, man, that's more nice. Yeah. Wow. Okay, right, next up, we have got Adam's Santa Cruz Brosnan, Beacon Hill. Uh, uh, getting the last few rides in before the snowfall here in eastern Washington State. Uh, frost and snow oh. starting to become regular. Ooh, yeah. that looks flipping cold. Got the Vittoria yeah. Martellos on. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of a, there's a, the uh, unicorn sick for me here. There's just too many colours, you know. It's hard to not give Santa Cruz uh, super nice, but um, I'll leave it. But there's look, there's purple pedals, purple stem, green grips, green and yellow mud guard, orange bottle cage. I mean, yeah. What am I supposed to do with all those colours, Neil? I can't handle it. It's nice. Wow. Yeah, but rainbows are lots of colours, and people like to think rainbows are very nice. But, you know. <laughs> Moving on. Robin Moving on. and his. It's nice. Check nice this out. Adam. This is a Pace RC295. <gasps> now, this is a rare machine. Pace yeah. is a British manufacturer. Used to make them beautiful looking forks. Do they still make forks? I don't know. They do make bikes these yeah. days. Yeah. Most famous Pace Pro Rider was, Neil? Um, well, I would say Richard Thackeray, but. Um, oh, God, no. Most Chris famous. Ac Chris oh, Thackeray. Jay Chris Ackrig, yeah. Chris Ackrig. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on, man. Right. Charles Rider, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, Robin. Well, Robin's got one of these pace. I mean, it's it's an amazing bike, isn't it? Yeah. It's very nice. Uh, so what nice year things. is this, Neil? What year is this bike? When would you say I, that's I would from, say right? that's bang up to date, but I do not know because, I know, he's always wanted a pace from being a teenager when the RC295 mm. was unveiled. I knew I had to have one. So after a long COVID delay, this is brand new. Uh, oh, right. I had no idea. I love it. Yeah, love I've it. sort of seen that's carbon fiber frame got me in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, mm, it's very cool. Very I mean, that's, cool. Very that's super nice. Super nice, nice to me. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Whoa. <laughs> Talking about retro stuff, that's like a leading link fork, I believe you call that. Yeah, I mean, hey, the bike vault is banging this week. Whoever put it together is a genius. Yeah. Um, this is from, this is guys, Swiss made. C 
Cillo. Cillo? 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 Swiss A. ATZ a- magnesium fork on that. Why? Oh, this? mate, magnesium fork. You want to rethink that? That <laughs> isn't a good idea. I mean, I love it, but I wouldn't like to ride it. Ugh, I mean, it's a very interesting looking bike. It's super nice just for like yeah existing. Yeah. But kids, but just mag- look at that. But magnesium. Kids, mm. would you imagine riding down a mountain on that? It's amazing that the the. the you know that that really harps back to what a mountain bike used to look like yeah uh and it makes you think how did this sport ever get big <laughs> well, that kind of could be a hipster's gravel bike if i'm honest oh for sure yeah a hipster could get out on that yeah. thing. right now current no problem yeah. um uh it was super nice very cool yeah. um last up we have got frank's canyon spectral and this is in ireland uh, just another solo um, ride during COVID. just another one just another one yeah. a great time love love the kickstand very cool yeah uh obviously yeah. got a fox 34 up front dt swiss rims rock shot style post shimano xt that- hey do you know what shimano xt one pop brakes i have never ridden with shimano brakes have you not? Isn't that amazing? No. They are brilliant. Yeah. These days they are brilliant. Yeah, that's uh, what I've heard. Four port XTR brakes are whew, flipping out good. Really? Yeah. yeah, I've not I've not had a go of them. Um, I made cable brakes real right back in the day, Oof. but never discs. Never Why? Shimano discs. Yeah. Very cool. Love the bike vault this week. Some awesome stuff in there. We get, yeah. we get spoiled. The bike vault when it first started is hard to remember, but back in the day, we were just getting sent like, you know, like the bikes were never in focus and the shot hadn't been thought mm. about, but we get some lovely shots we do. these days. Some pretty Thank interesting you. bikes. Spoiled. Right, um, let's have a look at some of your riding from this week. The bits that have gone well and the bits that have gone wrong. See if you can guess what's about to happen. It's time for fail and send. Mm. Good one. Way, way too big on some of that stuff. <laughs> uh, well, Neil, thank you so much for being basically uh, the link man in this show. I mean, you got a lot done, all them things. So thank you very much for Loved it. Cheers, putting Mark. all that effort in. It's great to see you. Oh, um, great to see that stuff from G as well. You're probably off to film some incredible video. Um, is there anything you can tell us about what you're about to do in the next week or so? I am going to ride with Blake at some jumps again. It's been a bit oh. of a recurring theme, but that's gonna be fun, yeah. Excellent stuff. Well, we look forward to seeing whatever you're up to next. Um, thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you love, like, and share on social platforms. Don't forget to subscribe. We will see you next week on The Dirt Shed Show. And until then, have a great week. See you later. See ya.